Hey, I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at StockMarketMentor.com, and I want to look at GSX um, today. This is a Chinese um, online education company. A lot of those Chinese people over there, they seem to like to learn online. Uh, got a lot of those companies, and hey, this is one of them. Um, frankly, the price action is better than on um, New Oriental, which has been a crowd favorite over at Stock Market Mentor, but this is like the new one. This is the new superstar. And this is how um, we traded this, or how I traded it, and people that have followed along with me also traded it. I saw this moving yesterday on really high volume. Frankly, it's not one of the stocks that I've been tracking. Um, it just came up on one of my intraday scans that I, that I use to find unusual things. And then I looked at this, and immediately, uh, this was what I thought. Okay. IPO stock, that's a good thing because uh, IPO stocks, when they work, tend to work really, really well because everybody's a winner. And here, we'll say the stock debuted at, we'll call it 1250, 12, whatever it was here. Once the stock rallied up above this, what I call an enthusiasm high, once it broke out again, then that same level was used as support. So through all of this, all of this, everybody who owns the stock is a winner. Right here uh, in July, the stock breaks out here, everybody's a winner. Even the lemmings who bought the stock uh, on the opening day because they wanna get in on a good thing before everybody else does, don't ever do that. Even those guys are winners. And so the stock comes up here, pulls back, support, support, support. And then from this point on, the stock began trading in kind of a narrowing range, almost giving you like a volatility squeeze, almost. So the stock breaks out, pulls back. Now we have a new line of support that's right about here. So it was... I mean, back here, this isn't even relevant anymore. Uh, but, you know, once the stock broke out, this is the level. And then here, the stock's trading sideways, and we don't really know whether this is ultimately the level where the stock's going to spring higher from or whether it's just going to get crushed. Um, but so what happens is um, we see the stock breaking out pulling back. Now we can definitely confirm that this is a level of support. And so then when the stock breaks out um, above or off of this support, I should say, I'm looking at this thinking, okay, typically I wouldn't like a stock that is so volatile because it can, you know, can really go either way. And this one has, but in this case, I'll take it because it's an IPO and these IPO stocks are more volatile. They do trade with more volatility and you have to understand this. So on Thursday, you know, I posted in the forum, I'm taking, I'm starting a little position here. And then this morning when the stock broke out to a new high, which was actually, I was just looking at this last high here of 1685. When it broke out above there, I went ahead and built uh, to a full position and now the stock's up here. So this is the thing. If, you, if you're a member and you're trading along, then just hang on to it. I'm going to. But if you're looking to buy this stock, here's what I'll tell you. I think the stock's going to go much higher, but I can't say that it's going to go much higher from here. Uh, if I was a betting man and I'm actually not, wouldn't surprise me if the stock juiced again on uh, Monday just because everybody's looking at this. For all I know, maybe it's going to get positive mention, um, you know, in the financial publications because it's up at a new high. You know, this is this was the last high here. So the stock's up at a brand new high. Everybody's in. First thing on Monday, yippee, I'm buying the stock. So maybe it moves up here. If you're buying on any further strength, you have to understand that that is just a super aggressive trade and you better you better protect it with a stop. But if if you're a little more patient, you know what I would suggest is just you know waiting for some type of a pullback, some kind of a test. And if the stock tests even 18, maybe 1750 and then it's showing some kinds of support here, that's really the next kind of safer 
entry to buy the stock. If you're doing this now, you really are just, you know, you're just trading a high momentum name and you better be watching it all day long. So, okay, that's it. Um, I will see you guys on Monday.